Today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Lucinda is going to be assisting me. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Little tiny little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. And on Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. He was still hungry. And on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Now he was a big, fat caterpillar, and he built a small house called a cocoon all the way around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole in his cocoon, and he pushed his way out, and he was a very beautiful butterfly. And now he is not hungry anymore. <laughs> okay, for our project in this, we're going to kind of do a little book, a fun book. I had a lot of fun with this. It's, um, your paper will look like this. Mine is The Very Hungry Molly Moose. Now, you can name it whatever you want. That's your choice. But this is how I did it. On Monday, Molly Moose ate through one shirt, but she was still hungry. On Tuesday, Molly Moose ate through two soup cans, but she was still hungry. On Wednesday, Molly ate through three bottle lids, but she was still hungry. On Wednesday, Thursday, Molly Moose ate through four paper napkins, and she was still hungry. On Friday, Molly Moose ate through five shoelaces, but she was still hungry. On Saturday, Molly Moose ate through shoes, towels, staplers, bow ties, paper plates, and socks. That night, she had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday, and Molly Moose ate a very nice, one very nice giant leaf. And after that, she felt much better.
The other project that we thought would be fun is if you have some fruit at your house to make a fruit kebab. And we have a recipe here. You can use any type of fruit that you have at your house and you put it together. And we've done this in groups um, in class. Um, you can use a wooden skewer and put the different kinds of fruit. I have strawberries and blueberries and grapes and things on here. But you can use anything that you have at your house to make this. We thought it would be a fun, refreshing snack. Okay? Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.